chip odds by Skybet. These were taken as of March 17, 2021. It may have changed by the time this preview or, or, or the second part of this preview is released. These are for entertainment purposes only. Lewis Hamilton is at 4 to 9. Matt's for Sappin at 11 to 4. Valtteri Botas at 12. Sergio Perez on 16. Leclerc Ricardo on 33. Vettel on 50. Norris on 66. George Russell is at 101 with Carlos Sainz. Do these bookmakers know something that we don't? Do they think somebody's getting a long-term COVID case, either Hamilton or Botas? Oh, Alonso no. on 150, Stroll and Tsunoda on 250, which is weird that he's that far out of Gasly and Ocon on 500, Raikkonen at 1,000, Giovinazzi and Schumacher on 2,000, and Latifi and Driver 1 Haas at 2,500 to 1. Oh no! In the cons- What's a shame. <laughs> in the constructors championship, Mercedes are at one to four odds. Red Bull are at three to one. McLaren on twenty five. Ferrari on twenty eight. Aston Martin on hundred. Alpine on one hundred fifty. Alpha Tori at five hundred. Alfa Romeo at seven fifty. Haas and Williams at a thousand each. Are there any good bets in this? No. No. Honest, yeah. No. Like it's the usual. Yeah. The only one I, I the only one I said that was even half worth a sniff is Valtteri Bottas each way for the championship because you get a further the odds for top two. If Mercs are dominant, there's a good chance Valtteri will be second. A further the odds if you win and a go each way, the place bet pays four to one. It's not bad by any stretch. If you're willing to wait till December to to collect your winnings, because obviously it's, it's eight months down the road, um, basically. Um, that's about as good as he is he going to get on this one as far as like Hamilton and Verstappen are so short title odds wise and I don't think Verstappen's going to win the driver's title um and that's about it really um I, I, I wish I could sit here and tell you something cool but I got nothing um the bookies are not going to get rinsed in, uh, for the fourth year in a row because they've been very generous with Hamilton prices year on year this I think this was the year that they turned around and was like Nah, we're not. We're not. <laughs> nah, don't don't even bother. No, like, don't even bother. Like with us, he's two to five. I mean, that that's the don't even bother price right there. Um, in other words, you you you're betting a hundred dollars to win forty. I mean, right. don't even bother. Honestly, <sighs> prop bets time. Uh, over under five and a half podium finishes from teams other than Mercedes and Red Bull. I'm going over. You, you cut out a second there, RJ. All right, now we're at the prop bet section of our right. podcast. Mm-hmm. Five and a half podium finishes over under from teams other than Mercedes and Red Bull. Did it happen again? Yeah, it, it happened, happened again. again. It's, it's, it's don't want me to do these prop bet segments. <laughs> it's, it's, it's been happening a bunch during RJ's feed. Yeah. Ah, Try damn it. it. We're now at the prop bet section of our podcast. I would like to start with a podium finishes over under a five and a half from teams other than Mercedes and Red Bull. Did I get in one take? Yes. Yes. So I'm going the first time. <laughs> under. Uh, you could you could put me on the over. <laughs> over. Ooh. I think the races are going to be chaotic enough this year that we'll get we'll get six we'll get six podium finishes outside of Red Bull and Mercedes. That's why they run the races, of course. One and a half wins from teams other than Mercedes and Red Bull. I'm also going over. Over. Under. I think we'll get three. I think we'll get three. I'm going under. Uh, I, I'm going under too. I think Mercedes and Red Bull are going to hold somewhat of a monopoly on, on the top and, step. And, and yeah, and I'm 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 leaning towards Perez being good this year, which will make it that much harder for anybody else to win. Mm. Twenty four and a half safety car interventions, not including VSCs, for the 2021 season. So actual car out on track. Yeah. Okay. So Under. that is, yeah, that is a more than one safety car a race. Uh, <laughs> Unless Singapore gets like uh, six or something, but hard, I, I don't think that hardcore under. under. Yeah, I'm under this one. <laughs> you know, <laughs> the trends have shown 
I'm going over. You're going oh my god! <laughs> really? This is going to be a mess. There have been a, there have been a couple of two and three baggers in a 17 race season last year. I like how Lewis, Lewis puts in our uh, Discord. If Baku happens, over. <laughs> <laughs> fa, fa, fa. On, a, on a similar note of attrition, um, half a race with eight retirements or more. Oh, put me on the over. <laughs> over. <laughs> You're guaranteed one chaotic race a year. Over. Over. Oh, like. Yeah, I think we're all in agreement. We're going over. We're, we're going over like Triple H in the early 2000s. <laughs> 20 and a half drivers start at least one Grand Prix, which is an interesting way of me asking the question, do you think is everybody that starts a season finishes the season? That means, that means uh, like... Someone no co- COVID, no positive COVID, COVID, COVID test. test. Okay, okay. Oh, then you have no, you have no to up it from at least one. You have to like. Mm. I'm gonna say under. I think all twenty will be as they stand. I tend to agree. Does that actually happened in 2019, where all twenty who started the year actually finished the year, and that was the first time that it ever happened in F1. Mm. For once, I'm going to go under. I'm going to be optimistic and say that nobody's going to get a COVID test. Nobody is going to drive enough like an idiot. No going on holiday mid-season, you fuckers. Give Um, me (laughs) the over. I think someone's getting fired. I think someone's getting fired this season. Okay. Checo, I'm looking at you. (laughs) Charles Leclerc, I'm looking in your general direction. (laughs) Carlos Sainz. What about me, Matthias? (laughs) (laughs) I'm going home. (laughs) <laughs> um, we're wrapping these up here uh, as an apology for not being able to do a full season preview for Formula oh. 2 in 2021 who you got to win the Formula 2 championship yep as a quick refresher the what I consider the title contenders in F2 this year at Primo we got Robert Source and Oscar Piastri at Universe Yossi, we got Guan Yu Zhao and Felipe Drogovic. At Carlin, we got Tickton, uh, we got Tickton and Duravala again. And at High Tech, we have Lawson and Vips. Uh, ART also have Lingard and Teo Porsche. Uh, those are pretty much everyone I think who would have a realistic chance of winning this championship. <laughs> I wouldn't over uh, overlook Marcus Armstrong at Dams. I, I would overlook Roy Nissany at Dams. <laughs> He's not going to be the oh. fifth year fun ruiner this time out. No, but uh, I, uh, I'm going to go with a spicy Lungard. Spicy Lungard. I'm going to like go, Christian. I, I like Christian Lungard. I'm myself, going personally. with the safe pick, Robert Schwartzman. Oh, total bandwagoner <laughs> over here. Boo! Boo! Title uh, Town, bitch! <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> so, uh. here, so, so here's the deal. Um, ART right now doesn't know how to set up more than one car at a time. Uh, we don't... It's hard for me to gauge where High Tech's guys are. It's hard for me to gauge where Carbon's guys are. I think... I think I'm going Guan Yu Zhao for the title this year. Okay. Okay, okay. I can, I can the, see it. And just to wrap things up, because I think we're... I guess we're all in agreement that Mercs are going to win the World Constructors Championship. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Because... World Ineo's Constructors Championship bring without... Home. Yeah. Wh- who's going to win without the big two? In other words, who's going to finish third and take the sure. Formula One and a half title? McLaren. Papaya. McLaren. Ass. Just because I... De- I de- ooh. I really uh, it's between those two teams in it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. You know. Go on, King. <sighs> I, ta- I I rescind my previous insult. <laughs> <laughs> if it wasn't for the testing woes, I'd go Aston Martin now the bots, and I still think they'll do well and contend for wins. I think mm-hmm. it's going to be McLaren Mercedes. Also, I love that Steve in the Discord is disappointed, King. You didn't pick Alpine. <laughs> Get Alpine for third. That's <laughs> my gimmick. King has betrayed his country. You have to. You, you have to Traitor. remember, people. King has an outstanding bet. If Alpine wins a race, he's getting a blueberry pie to the face. <laughs> oh, that's my. That's my bet. I was the one in on that bet. Let's go. Let's go, Ocon. Let's go, Ocon. I want a pie in I- the face. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I guess we're all in agreement that Lewis is going to win World Drivers yeah. Championship. Lewis is going to who's be finishing runner-up? Verstappen. I, I have no faith. I, I've given up on the Valtteri Savior Tour at this point. I think Verstappen uh, yeah, next I'm, second. I'm, go- I'm, I'm also going for Verstappen. I'm going, <laughs> I'm going for Verstappen. Ouch! The man you gave a 10, you traitorous heathen! Oh my god. <laughs> Cam, what about you? It's, it's for stabbing. Like, what, <laughs> yeah. what do you take me for? A Valtteri Bottas apologist? I'm not king. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> whoa! Whoa! 10 out Easy. of 10 have an ass. <laughs> Folks, we're, we're, we're delirious after two solid I will, hours of note, recording. A note, though. A note on that runner-up. I think Verstappen runs it within a race this year. I'm going to say Lewis so, wins it disagree. one race early. Oh. Not three. So you think that I Lewis agree. is going to clinch the championship in the beautiful seaside resort city of Jeddah, Saudi Arabia? Oh, a popular title <laughs> went on <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> I, I no, think, there'll, I think, there'll, no, I there'll think be no before. gammon in the room talking about how Hamilton hasn't spoken enough about being an activist in Saudi Arabia. All the gammon will be coming out during that Grand Prix. It's going to be delicious. Get the ball. And that's why I think out. he's going to clinch it at Abu Dhabi, and this yeah. race is going to go all the way to the last round. Sure, why Hamilton's not? still going to win. <laughs> yeah, we'll call it that. Yeah, gut feeling. I think Hamilton's going to clinch it two races early in Brazil. No, nice that's a, that's Australia. Oh, Australia now, yeah. Yeah, I remember yeah. it's moved. That's yeah. that'd be weird. Yep, Australia. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. <laughs> oi, oi, oi! Thank you for listening to all of this content. Let's get the hell out of here. I think. I uh, wait before we go. Uh, we also got some further news on. Uh, Another loss in motorsport. Manfred oh, Kramer shit, has lost his life at uh, the age 81. Mastermind, of course, of the 1979 uh, Le Mans 24-hour victory with his home-built Porsche 935s. Great um, cars. He built cars that dominated the sports car scene, both uh, internationally and in the United States and IMSA. For the better part of really from the middle of the seventies until the middle of the eighties, right along with his brother uh, Erwin Kramer, mm. huge loss in sports car racing. Yeah. What a shit day for motorsport! Jesus Christ, God! We we got news of this about an hour ago as we were recording the show. Um, yeah, oh, not a nice day at all in motorsport, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, of course, our thoughts and um, prayers go out to their loved ones and those affected. Shut up this up, RJ. Go ahead. Take a Yeah, seven. good idea. Um, because, uh, this, this, was, this was like the old days of Motorsport 101 where we went two hours, 20 minutes for your enjoyment, but I really enjoyed that for, um, for the most part. So, uh, yeah, hopefully all of our predictions get t- torn up and put in a bin because that would be the best news for everybody involved. Um, thanks everyone that stuck around. Much appreciated. Uh, well, joined in late. It was, it was, it was, heck, it was such a long window. I can't say I blame you. Um, but uh, basically, you can find us one more time. We're on youtube.com forward slash motorsport 101. We're on facebook.com forward slash motorsport 101. Our Twitter handles are on the screen right now. Uh, down in the description below if you're watching this on YouTube after the fact. Or if you're not listening to us on video, at Harrison101HD, at RJ O'Connell, at Ryan Eric King, and at CBuckley917. I knew I was forgetting something this morning. Morning. The Instagram page, Motorsport 101 Pod, for, for all the updates on new episodes and content and bonus stuff and all that is on there. Our podcast page, our website, motorsport101.com. And if you really like us, you can back us financially on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash motorsport101. Five dollars gets you early access to all of our audio shows while we're still caught up. Um, and ten dollars for the supporters club of our Discord server and the video versions of all our shows as well. Well, thank you very much for listening. We'll be back next week because, yeah, the uh, bi weekly break is over. We've got a MotoGP season preview to get through on season preview season, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, Ladies and gentlemen. I'm friends outside the binary. He's back. <laughs> or is he? He's back and he's swole. 
Talk about Rep Swole Honda. Rep Swole Honda. <laughs> Or is he? Or isn't he? We'll find out and talk more about that next week on the show because if you thought this was a crapshoot, you haven't seen the 2021 MotoGP season yet. <laughs> That'll be fun. Until then, I've been Drake Harrison, they've been RJ O'Connell, Ryan Eric King, and Cam Buckley. Until next time, thank you very much for watching and listening, and we'll see you guys soon. Sayonara. And it's lights out, and it's go, go, go. Bye. Quite sad now.